Okay guys, so it's very cold and snowy here today and it's officially starting to feel like Christmas time. So I wanted to film another Christmas decor haul. So let's go ahead and just jump. So right. today I'm going to be sharing with you some finds from Michaels, Kirkland's, Marshalls, Joann's, and Amazon. So the first of which is this sign, which is from Michaels. It's a very nice canvas material. It's got this red striping detail along the side and the red is a very pretty color. It has all of Santa's reindeer names and a really nice font and they included Rudolph. I've seen some of these signs with all the reindeer names and they leave Rudolph out of the sign so I liked that this one had him included. The frame's a nice quality. It is very large as far as the length of it, not super wide, so just keeping that in mind in whatever space you put it in, it's gonna work really well where I plan on putting it. It has this um, twine hanger or a sawtooth hanger, and it was $30, but everything I got, I only got a couple things from Michaels, and everything was 50% off. I had a 50% off coupon, and I took a couple trips back and forth <laughs> to make sure I got everything. At that 50%. Also from Michaels, I got this vintage inspired Santa mug. I love his little wink and his little rosy cheeks. I just think he is so cute. And he was originally $7, so I got him for like $3.50. This piece was out last year and I didn't pick one up and I was kicking myself for it. So when they brought out their Christmas decor this year and I saw that they had him, I just had to get him. Up, I picked up this DIY nutcracker from Michaels. So you can do a lot of different things with him. You could paint him. You could decorate him however you want. You could stain him. I might do that. I'm kind of still deciding. I might just leave him this natural wood color, but he's a good size. I think he's 14 inches tall and he's just playing on his drum set. So... Thought he was really cute and he was 15 bucks and I got him for seven. So this hot cocoa canister I got might be my favorite thing I picked up from Michaels and maybe one of my favorite things I got this year um, in general. So I love the black and red plaid and then this green um, logo right here. It says winter blend hot cocoa, a superior cocoa for all purposes. And it is empty. There's nothing that comes in it. It's originally 20 bucks, which is kind of pricey for just a canister. But I got it with that 50% off coupon. I just love the colors of this. I think this would look really cute at a coffee station or hot cocoa bar. And it is printed on both sides, which is nice. Um, the lid does come off. You could put like Keurig hot cocoa. Um, cups in there or you know whatever you wanted so I think this is really cute and I absolutely so next this. up we have Kirkland's and I picked this really pretty green velvet pillow up from there it's very soft and it's this really pretty jewel toned color and it has this rope detailing that spells out holly jolly and it's kind of like a glittery gold color and I didn't have a lot of green pillows and I'm trying to bring more green in so I thought this was a good way to do that. Also I think velvet is just perfect for this time of year and I really didn't have any velvet pieces. This was originally 20 bucks and I got it 20% off. So next up I picked up this really pretty oversized gold jingle bell and when I say oversized I mean like this thing is the size of like a softball so um it is not an actual jingle bell like it doesn't ring or anything um, which is fine so this was being marketed as an ornament I think but you could also just set this up really anywhere um, it does kind of have like a flat bottom so it would sit nicely it has this really pretty brushed on gold glitter and I will say that the glitter does not transfer which is awesome <laughs> so I like that, you know, it does still look kind of rusty and distressed. So there's a lot of detail to this and I thought it was really pretty. So I went ahead. I grabbed was this candy cane canister. So it says candy canes, five cents, and it's got kind of this like chipped 
paint look here at the top, making it look really old and vintage. Um, it's only printed on the one side and it was originally 10 bucks, so I got it for like eight. And you could just put whatever you wanted inside there. I do plan on putting actual candy canes in it, but I just thought this was a really and cute. And lastly from Kirkland's, I picked up this bow. So I think this was an ornament originally, or that's how they were marketing it, but um, it was $7, so I got it 20% off that. And I loved that it was like the burlap bow behind the buffalo check bow. And this buffalo check bow is like a flannel material. It's really soft, but I thought this was super pretty. Um, you could put this on your tree as an ornament. You could put it on a wreath. You could hang it on some garland. Um, I plan on putting it on my mini tree as the tree topper. It's a good size for that. I believe it's 12 inches long. So usually I just tie my own bow on top of that tree, but it does not come out looking nearly as pretty as this one does. So I decided I was going to go ahead and use this one. This so my fiance's mother gave me this tray. She bought it for her hot cocoa station she was doing and it didn't work out. So she gave this to me and I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it, but I love it. I think this is a really cute tray. It says Christmas blend hot cocoa served here and it looks like kind of some wood detail showing through. Um, I love the distressed kind of white and the handles are really pretty brass. It's got that holly berry detail that I love. So this will look really cute somewhere in my kitchen and it was only six so out. If anyone knows me, they know I am obsessed with mugs, but I was really finding it hard to pick out Christmas mugs this year. I don't know why. I wasn't finding a lot that I liked or maybe like not in the colors that I usually gravitate toward. So I found this and I thought this was really pretty. It says, fa la la, and it's got that holly berry there. And then the inside is just that really pretty Christmas red color that I love. It is, it's cute. It's got this little like to and from with a little jingle bell if you wanted to give it as a gift. I am not, I'm keeping it for myself. Um, but it was $3.99. Next thing I got from Marshalls was this little striped Christmas tree. It's kind of like plush and it's got these little black jingle bells. I love that it's green and white stripes. I have a lot of red and white stripes during Christmas time, but I'm trying to incorporate a little bit more green. It's got just a wood black base. Um, it was $6 from Marshalls. Once again, my fiance's mom picked this up for me. I saw it when we went shopping and I didn't get it and I was like kicking myself for not picking it up and she went back and got it for me. So I love How this cool one. is this piece? I was looking for an ornament to set on one of my end tables but it's really hard because most ornaments are not gonna sit there and they're gonna roll around and of course I can't have that. So um, this is actually a candle. The top just comes off and the candle itself smells really good. It smells kind of like cologne a little bit in my opinion but I just love the mercury glass it's this really pretty flaked red and the top even has like some really nice detail to it and it was six or sorry five ninety nine so six bucks um, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So I bought a ton of stuff from Joann's for the fall time. So I was expecting to buy a lot of stuff from there for Christmas, but I only got a couple things and it really wasn't a lot of decor pieces. So I got these two guys and it's, this is a silicone spoon and it says jingle all the way. And I thought this was just really cute. And then I got this silicone spatula with this really pretty, um, like Nordic, red and white pattern on it and then if you can see it's got it's not going to focus but it's got the conversion chart on the back um and I bought a couple of these their fall version and I use them quite a bit and I do a lot of baking this time of year so I know I will put these to good use and they were six dollars a piece and I think they were like 50% off that day. So. Up two things of Christmas ribbon from Joann's, which was also 50% off. <laughs> so this guy 
was about two dollars and I love the print I love that little cardinal it says Merry Christmas with this really pretty green color with red polka dots and then I loved this pattern and the green I thought this was beautiful and so this was about five dollars and this has the wire edge which is nice if you wanted to um, like do some homemade bows with this so this could be good for wrapping presents um, putting these on wreaths, putting these on your Christmas tree. Um, you could do a lot of things with these. So, I Lastly, snacked. I picked up this Buffalo Check mat from Amazon. It was $12, I believe. So this is the smaller size. So this would not work um, layered with like an outdoor mat. And I did not get it for that purpose, but I do love that look. But I got this to put on the inside of the door in front of the door. Um, I thought it would be a cute way to incorporate a little bit of buffalo check. I try not to go like too overboard with it, but I do think it looks good during the holidays. Okay, so here is one last peek at everything I picked up from Michaels, Kirkland's, Marshalls, Joann's, and Amazon. A lot of places. Pretty big haul. Um, I will have one more haul coming your way from Target. Wonder Shop and the Target Dollar Spot, which I know is everyone's favorite this time of year. And of course, be on the lookout for my Christmas home tour, which should be coming soon. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.